Hey everyone, Bricknut here. First, I just want to apologise for missing two uploads. Last week I was just in a dark place, Will, so I just wasn't good. Um, so I did miss fr last Fridays and Tuesday. I was just busy. <laughs> so um, I didn't get a chance. Um, anyway. I have just bought this month's issue of uh, Lego City magazine to which this was one of the, one of the polybag sets on there a little uh, snowmobile I actually quite like this, it was quite a nice build uh, and there was another polybag set but I've misplaced it <laughs> Um, I literally had it here a couple of seconds ago but uh, it was another one of these the Octane Go-Kart um, so I've left that in its poly bag oh I can see it but I can't reach it it's actually behind the camera but yeah anyway it was just another one of these so I've left that one in its poly bag um, I do like to try to buy at least two copies, so I do have one made up and one still in a poly bag. Although it is tempting to go and open those three poly bags and make the models up. But uh, I'm going to keep them. It's not much, but at least I can. Uh... If the camera wobbles, that's Nemo, by the way. But uh, yeah, I don't keep a lot of things boxed like that due to, um, well, just not having the funds to buy multiple sets. So uh, I get these magazines and I just buy a couple. I might open them one day, I might put them back up on eBay one day and perhaps get back what I spent on the magazines. I might not. Like I said, I might just keep them like that. Anyway. This is going to be a project. This is going to undergo some modifications. I'm going to modify the cab because ever since I built this, I've just not been 100% happy with it. And then I thought this part, the body on it, looks just a bit too dull. So I'm going to raise this body, which means raising the cab a little bit as well, and put the hose. Well, the hose is going to go on top of the body, and then I'm going to put a couple of cupboards either side um, just to add a bit more detail to it because it just doesn't look like there's a lot of detail. <laughs> so, uh, that's a future project. Put that over here. And I did find this in a local charity shop for £3. I think the sticker, I'm actually certain the sticker on it said um, £2.50, but I'm not going to argue over 50p. It goes to a good cause, so £3.250, I don't care. <laughs> so, I'm just going to move you down and zoom you in. And we'll have a look, because I've had a quick look, as you can see, because I've already pulled the bag open. But I haven't had a good look. I think it is just completely random bricks in here. There's some plates, brick, lots of brick actually of various types. Got half a minifigure at least in here. Is that it? That is it. Sometimes Lego bricks can get caught up in it. Just you again, there we go. So, uh, yeah, sir. I'm actually glad of the fact that there seems to be a bunch of uh, green bricks in here as well, and brown. Because they are great for landscaping, especially when you're building a city like I am. Well, I suppose any diorama, if it involves landscaping, you know, land is, well, land is generally green and brown, isn't it? Brown to simulate dirt, and green to simulate plant life, and grass, and etc. Here's our half a minifigure. 
say half because I haven't found his legs yet. Nope, I'm going off camera there. There's nothing on his back, it's just a plain red torso. Actually looks new to me. Or at least in very good condition because I don't know if Lego um, does plain torsos like that anymore. They might. I've just not seen them in sets. But, uh, here's some transparent bricks and red bricks, slope bricks, axle bricks, some more of these dark grey dishes. I could do some more of these in other colours, not just grey. I've got loads of these in grey. Oh, nice yellow 2x2 two two round brick. I have noticed that one problem, especially if you don't keep an eye on it, is that um, is that um, you can go out of shot quite easily when zoomed in. At the moment I'm just talking hands. <laughs> Uh, anyway, what have we got? We've got um, these. I've, over the years I've actually collected up several of these. Because, um, fun fact, even though I've got a lot of sets built up, I don't have them all built up. Because I just, I don't have the room to display them all. So uh, what I tend to do when I get new sets in, I, uh, I, um, probably dismantle some of the old ones that I've had on display for like a couple of years or so, just to make some room and just to change the um, display around and keep it fresh. But uh, I always keep the instruction manuals, so if I ever decide in the future, which I have done most recently, was um, the, one of my police dog vans, which is actually all the way over there. Um, I can, because I've got the instructions. Not that I really need to keep them, because you could download most of them from the internet, but... Uh, yeah... There's some nice one by one round bricks as well. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else has, but I do have my favourite types of brick, and uh, these one by one round bricks are one of them. This is more Lego I've got to sort through. I've not seen anything that isn't Lego in here. It does all seem to be genuine Lego. But I'm just wondering why it was such a small bag. I don't know, maybe the charity shop themselves just decided to split it up in bags and perhaps I just got the last one. <clears throat> Not much in the way of tile. I've got a 2x2 two two dark grey tile there. I think that is actually the only tile in here that I can see. There's no legs for a minifigure there, so he's only half a man. I have to go find him some legs. I've got plenty of spare. Ooh, plenty of baseball cap. I really like baseball caps. Red seems a popular colour for these. And this, ooh, this actually looks like the newer one because it's got the shorter peak rather than the longer peak. I know a lot of the older caps had um, longer peaks on it than that. Some tan bricks as well. This is what I wouldn't mind getting a bunch of as well. Hmm. Maybe in the new year I might uh, just see if I can find some random job lots on eBay of um, specific coloured bricks like this. Because I really could do with them um, stocking up tan, green, and brown to be honest. Because I don't have many brown bricks like this or brown plates. Well, not anymore because I used most of the brown plates um, that I had on that decking. But uh, unfortunately, this payday, I um, wasn't able to order any parts. Which I was hoping to. I was hoping to order some um, 
tile so I can get some tiling done on the decked area. Never mind. Oh, speaking of that decked area, um, Big Taylor and I did ask if the tiles would um, go under that fencing. They probably would, but what I'm going to do, because some of the claw bricks that the fence sits on are at an angle, I'm going to take the fence down, put a one by one plate where the hook is and then put that on it, so I'm going to raise it up um, before I put the uh, tile down. Otherwise I'm not going to tile right up to the edge because of the um, claw brick that's going to be sitting at an angle. So if I do it that way, the claw brick can still sit at an angle over the tile. And I think it would look a lot tidier that way as well. So I will, uh, closer to the tile, when I've got the tiles, I will show you exactly what I mean. But uh, I don't scot the tiles. And um, I'm on a group called A Falls of Facebook. I don't know if any of my viewers are on there as well. Um, but someone did suggest that uh, even though I bought the uh, wrong coloured tiles for that job, I got the dark brown ones, not the light ones, that I could still use them in there because they suggested them just dotting them around randomly. Which um, I actually like that idea. It's going to add a bit of uh, a bit of uh, texture and a bit of uh, colour as well, so it's not all just one colour. That was either my eyes or my lights are flickering. Anyway, just a short video because uh, I've not really done a great deal. That's one of the other reasons as well. I think I've actually been worrying myself because I'm I feel like I'm running out of things to do at the minute. So if there's anything you want me to do, you know, do you want me to film me uh, perhaps modifying that fire truck or Building a mock. I've got a tool shop that I want to start on. Um, Hughes Tube is going to start on one as well. We decided together that's what we're going to build for our towns. Um, so I could film building that. I don't know, I just feel a bit... I feel like I'm just doing the same two things all the time, which is either reviewing a set, the um, rare sort of haul video like this one. I don't know if I could actually consider it a haul. Smallest haul ever. Maybe I can hold the record for the smallest Lego haul ever. You know, a little bag. <laughs> or, um, I thought I've lost track of what I was, what I'd got up to. That was it. Or, um, Lego City updates. I'd like to, if I can think of things, or if you've got any ideas, I'd like to expand on the sort of videos I do as well. Um, I have toyed with the idea of doing a live stream, but at the moment that might be a, might be a bit awkward to set up. Because uh, I don't know if I can actually connect this camera up and use that. Uh, the only other camera I've got is a web camera, which obviously isn't going to be as good as this. But I don't think the USB cable is long enough. And if you go too long with the USB cable, an extension cable, it can affect the um, the camera. It just won't work because the signal can't be sent over a certain distance. don't know how it works. It's just some, something to do with signal strength and whatnot. Uh, but I'm not going to rule out, you know, that I'll never do live videos. That is one that I would like to do at some point. Uh, but as I said, I'm, I'm open to ideas. Because <laughs> uh, I know at least a year ago, maybe a bit longer, I actually did do reviews on a lot of my old sets on that shelf. Problem is I can't remember which ones. I know I didn't do them all, so it's just a case of uh, going through and actually checking to see what I've done and what I haven't done. But uh, yeah, 
I keep wanting to talk about plans for the new year as well, but I think it's a bit too early for that. I might save that as a New Year's video, I think. So, on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Because if you, anyone actually watches my other channel, I tend to ramble a lot, which is exactly what I'm doing now. So, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. And as always, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. It lets me know, you know what sort of videos I should do and shouldn't do, and blah -de blah blah. <laughs> um, I'm tired as well, so if I, I seem random, that's why. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Leave your ideas and whatnot if you have any down in the comments below. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.